Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Engage Tutorials. Welcome back to another video. And it has been a while, about three weeks since I've uploaded a video, but I've been super busy with school, work, etc. So, uh, but I'm back. Hopefully more videos to come. I can't wait till Advanced Warfare comes out. But this is not a gaming video. This is a tutorial uh, on the car. And today I'm going to show you how to install something called a grill pinstripe. This is another popular option with uh, Subaru WRXs um, that I've noticed anyway. A lot of people have these actually so uh i got some from auto city imports once again their link is in the description they have a ton and ton of stuff for your car it's not just subaru either so go check them out but i got the white pinstripe as you can see here i decided to get white because i had the uh, white and black badge overlays so i got the white pinstripe to accent it and it actually looks really good it puts a nice touch to the car and when you stand back and look at it it looks really good which you'll see by the end of the video Real quick, in case you're wondering, Auto City Imports, the site I got this from, has so many different colors. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, there, there's so many colors you can think of. Red, uh, burgundy, yellow, pink, blue, light blue, green, lime green, black, white, everything you can think of. So if you want one of these, I'm pretty sure they'll have it in the color you want it in. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on to the install of the video. It's pretty simple. But it takes patience and time to get it lined up. It could get frustrating. It certainly was getting frustrating for me because the camera was in my way, unfortunately. But um, I ended up getting it started and then moving the camera away and finishing it. So it does require you to peel it off because it's uh, the way it comes. It's peel. It's uh, stuck to a background to keep the adhesive good. So you want to peel off a little bit at a, at a time and work your way down. So what I did was actually try to get it, the hardest part was giving, getting the edge up into the top right or top left of the grill. But once you do that and get it stuck, then you can start working your way down and pushing air bubbles out or anything like that. Just sticking it to the grill and trying to line it up at the, at the edge of it so it's not touching the actual grill mesh in the background that you can see there. So all you got to do is just keep working your way down like I am here. As you can see, once you get it started, it's super easy. Like I said, all you got to do is make sure it's lined up and you'll be good to go. And don't be afraid to lift it up and restick it. Like as you can see there, I got a little part messed up on the grill mesh, so I had to eventually lift that up and restick it. It's very forgiving, so if you do have to do that, that is completely fine. So this is what it looks like so far. As you can see, we got a little bit of extra, but we will take care of that later. It looks really, really good. I'll show you a backup shot in a minute, but... Uh, Here's the basic rundown of how it looks. Um, I eventually got it on the way I liked it. And once again, like I said, you can remove it and put it back on. It's very forgiving. So doing that a couple times won't hurt it. So now let's go ahead and remove the extra. This is an easy part. So all you want to do is grab a pair of scissors, pull it back a little bit, and cut as close as you can to the edge, as you can see there. And then you'll see that part that's sticking up. Just go ahead and press it down with your finger. And once you get it in there, it should look great. And finally, once it's all said and done, this is your final product. And I think it adds a great touch to the car. It looks better once you stand back. Like, if you stand back and look at it from here, it looks really good. Uh, makes it look even more mean than it already is. So, I personally really like it. It will really, really look good if you're doing, like, a black and red theme. And you have a red stripe down there. That'll look amazing. But it matches the emblems that I got. And everything so the car is coming along nicely and once again huge thanks to auto city imports for um these products they're really really great and uh yeah if you need anything for your car uh performance parts exterior modifications interior etc you can go check them out their link is in the description once again but yeah that is it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy if you did please drop a like down below and if you are still watching to the end which i hope you are it's been a long time since i uploaded a video so if you are still watching, make sure to leave a comment down below uh, for the special word of the day. And today's special word of the day is PIN, P-I-N. So put PIN in the comments below, and I'll reply to you all, and I'll see you in another video.